When a pair of criminals are the best thing that's ever happened to your son, you suck as a parent. In a bag of hammers, two car thieves accidentally get involved in the life of a child when his mother just isn't up to the job. This is a film that goes from the absurd to the sincere, but it is definitely more of a drama than it is a comedy. Ben and Alan are lifelong friends. They live together, they have fun together, and they steal cars from funerals. The only people they have in their lives are Alan's straight-laced sister and the guy that buys the stolen cars from them. That's until Kelsey and his mother moves into the rental property that the pair own. The mother is swamped with her own problems, and the kid's predicament begins to change the lives of these two men who do not want to grow up. This movie was listed as a comedy, and that's why I watched it. Now, it starts off that way, but it quickly becomes more serious, and I stayed with it during that jump because it focused on the stories of Ben, Alan, and Casey. I enjoyed the emotionally rich performances here. The only problem I had with it is that it felt disjointed at times. Was it trying to be too serious, or was it trying to be funny and not quite making it? The thieves' banter and behavior are the source of the laughs, but they're more inane at times than they really are funny. I do have to say that Jason Ritter just strikes the balance in this movie better than anyone. He starts off being hilarious, but then he moves on to being profound. Chandler Canterbury takes Kelsey as this young kid who's got a horrible life, and he conveys all of that onto the screen, making us care about his character. A Bag of Hammers is a meaningful, funny movie that doesn't quite strike the balance of humor and drama it was going for, but it's still moving and entertaining to watch. Now, if you're looking for some serious laughs, don't let this title mislead you. This is one to watch when you want a heavy story that just happens to have some laughs along the way.